Hello students. So today I'll be discussing about the second chapter from account 10C. So basically, as you have seen the the classes of accounts for the first chapter, there is accounting equation, which you have studied the terms, and there are various terms in accounting which you have studied in the in our previous classes. So today I am here to discuss for the second chapter that is your journal. This is your journal. Journal is the first step where our accounts will start. Whatever business you do, say it is a huge investing business or it is a small investing business, whatever the business you do, the first step, the first accounts we will prepare is journal. Alright. So, basically for recording the journal entries, we need to follow some rules. We need to understand some rules of accountancy. Since it is the first step, it is the first step of your accountancy that is called journal. Alright. If you don't understand the journal properly, then you will not able to do any of the sum. For that, for knowing the journal, you have to know the rules of journal or the rules of accounts also you can say. So first of all, let us talk about the rules of debit and credit. Okay. So, <clears throat> as we all know that there are some rules accounts for recording the transactions okay so let us talk about the rules rules of debit and credit okay so as you know we have some some items named called assets liabilities expenses and income these are some common items which will be used in our accounts so the first is the rules for debit and credit. Okay. So let us make two column. One is debit column, another one is credit column. Okay. So another column let us make that is called item. Right. So the first item is asset. The second item is liabilities. Third item is your say expenses. Fourth item is your income. So these are the four items which will be used in these rules. And the first item is what? Asset. Now, asset is what? Asset is a resources which the business owns, which we can use more than one year. For example, land, billing, cash, goodwill, sundry debtors, bills receivable, etc. etc. The, the items or the resources which we can use more than one year and the business which owns that is called assets. Isn't it? Now, what is the rules? Of debit and credit in asset. If you record any items of asset in the debit side, debit side is called left hand side also. Left and side. Okay. Credit side is called right hand side. Alright. Whatever account we will prepare in the accountancy, all the accounts will have two sides. One is left hand side, one is right hand side. Just we do, just like we do the difference between. Okay, the, the way we did the difference between in our smaller classes, in our uh, six, seven classes, the same way we will have two parts one is left hand side, another one is right hand side. In all the accounts, whatever we prepare in the accountancy. Alright, so the first account. The, uh, the left hand side, sorry, the left hand side is called the debit side 
and the right hand side is called the credit side. I repeat, the left hand side is called the debit side and the right hand side is called the credit side. Now what is the rules of asset in debit and credit? So asset items is what land, building, capital, sorry not capital, land, building, goodwill, sundry data, bills, receivable, these are assets. So if you re record any asset items in the debit side, that is left hand side, always it will increase, always it will, the amount will increase, alright. See, if you record any item, any asset item in the credit side, always it will decrease. The upper arrow indicates increase, the, the downward arrow indicates decrease, alright. Next comes the liabilities. Now, what is liabilities? Liabilities are those which the business borrow from the others, from the third parties to run the business. For example, bank loan, your um, Sunday creditor, bills payable, capital, these are all liabilities. It means what? The business have to repay the amount at the end of the year. The business have to repay the amount at the end of the year. That is called liabilities. In which the business owes, owes matlab, you have to pay it. Example is kya hai? Example is land. Sorry, example is what? Bills payable, salary creditors, your capital. So these are the, there are various outstanding expenses, there are various items which will come under liabilities. Now, what is the golden rules of liabilities? So if you record any item in the debit side, that is the left hand side of liabilities, then the item will decrease, and the amount will decrease. If you record any items in the credit side of liabilities, that item will increase. Alright. As I said, if you record any item in the debit side, the, item will, the amount will increase. If you record any item in the, in the credit side, the amount will decrease. Come to the liability, if you record any items in the debit side, the amount will decrease. If you record any amount in the credit side, the amount will increase. Now come to the expense. Expense is what? Whatever the expense is done in the business, say advertisement expense, your refreshment expense, there are various expenses which the business face for running a business. So these expense, what are the rules of debit and credit under expenses? So in expense, whatever you record, whatever amount you record in the debit side, that amount will increase. Same like the asset, all right? Whatever the amount you will record in the credit side, the amount will decrease. The amount will decrease. So this is the rules of as of expenses now come to the income so income we have various items of income whatever the business will earn profit whatever if if the business gets any discount from the other parties that will come under income that will be accorded as a income so income also we are having some uh, some rules of debit and credit so what are what are the rules in income if you record in any item in the Debit side, the amount will decrease. If you record any items in the credit side, the amount will increase. So these are the rules of debit and credit of assets, liabilities, expenses, and income. Expenses, assets, and expenses having the same rules. Any any amount you record in the debit side, the amount will increase. Any amount you record in the credit side, the amount will decrease. Same, same rules, you can see it. If you, have, if you see the liabilities and income, these two items have same rules of debit and credit. If you record any, if you record any items in the debit side, it will decrease in the income also and liabilities also, same rule. If you record any item in the credit side, the amount will increase. Alright, so these are the, some basic rules of debit and credit which you must have to keep in your mind for going ahead, for going ahead. all right next so these are the rules of debit and credit so as i have told you 
that for journal is the first step of accounts journal is the first rec first recording books of accounts in which we will record the transactions so transaction is done in for in, be, in between two person at least there will be two person for a transaction the exchange of goods and services in terms of money is called transaction all right so these transactions will be recorded in the first step that is called journal so, so for learning the journal we need to first know the rules of debit and credit all right next come to most important thing of our accounts that is called the golden rules that is called the golden rules let us know about the golden rules let us let us discuss about the golden rules okay so golden rules is what golden rules of of accounts so we have basically we have three golden rules one is real account one is nominal account one is personal account okay so as i have told you in every account there will be two side one is debit side that is called left hand side one is credit side that is called right hand side okay so in nominal account also there will be two two part debit left hand side credit right hand side in real account also we have two part one is debit one is credit credit is called the right hand side and debit is called the left hand side okay now what are the what are the rules of these three account one since it is given golden rules golden rules is one of the most most important rules in our accounts if you don't understand these golden rules you will not able to do any sums in class 12 and in class 11 too so understand it very carefully so that you can attend all the sums you you have the knowledge of golden rule if you have the knowledge of golden rules then you can do all the sums easily which will be which will be very good for you now if you don't understand then so you will not able to solve any of the sums is very much important okay so these are the three accounts of golden rules under traditional approach under traditional approach so the first first account is real account real account we are having two side one is debit side one is credit side the left hand side is called debit side and the right hand side is called credit side so in the real account all the all the asset items will be recorded remember that in the real account only all the asset items will be recorded all the asset items will be recorded maximum of the asset items okay now what is the rule golden rule debit is what what comes in the rules of the rules of real account in debit side what comes in whatever the amount or whatever the asset item if it is coming inside the business that means if it is coming in the business then it will be recorded in the debit side only the asset items i repeat only the asset items if it is coming in the business then it will be recorded in the debit side because the rules is debit what comes in in matlab inside the business okay now come to the credit side credit what goes out what goes out whatever the items of assets whatever the items of assets the items are what cash billing plant and machinery furniture fixture machinery various items of assets whatever the items of asset if it is going out from the business if it is going out from the business then it will record in the credit side what goes
goes out is credited. Okay. If any item is coming in the business, it will be recorded in the debit side according to the golden rules of real account. Any asset items, not all the items, any asset items. Whatever is going out from the business, it will record in the credit side. Debit, credit what goes out according to the rules. So any item, if it is going out, then it will record in the credit side. Okay. Come to the next one, that is called nominal account. Okay. So nominal account is what? All the expenses, income, losses and gain will record. I repeat, in the nominal account, all the expenses, income, no, gain and losses will record. Now what are the rules of recording under nominal account? So the nominal account is in the debit side, that is the left hand side, all, all expenses and losses will record. All expenses and losses items will record. Any expense, if you purchase anything, if you purchase anything, so it is your expense, so it will record in the debit side. If you give salary to anyone, to your employee, it is your loss, so it will record in the debit side. Any expenses item, any losses item will record in the debit side according to the nominal account. So obviously in the credit side, it will be what? All income and gain. All income and gain will record in the all income and gain will record in the credit side okay whatever the income items in the business whatever the gain the business will earn whatever the income will the business will earn everything it will record for the in the credit side for example discount received for example is what discount received now you have purchased any product from the outside now you receive discount so according to you it is your income isn't it according to you it is your gain so any gain according to the nominal account any gain or income it will record in the credit side understood so this is the, this is the rules of nominal account now come to the last one that is called personal account Personal account means here all the name related capital, bank, these are the items will record in the personal account. Personal account means individual account. Personal account means individual account. Any person's name. Suppose X limited. X is the name of a person. So X will come under personal account. Bank, State Bank of India, SDFC, ICCI, Punjab National Bank, these are all name related banks so all the banks will record in the personal account capital capital is what for starting a business the, uh, the investment which is required that is called capital for starting a business the, uh, the person who invest the who, who invest the amount that is called capital so capital is a personal account because a person is investing the amount so that is called capital so capital will also come in the personal account so these are the examples of personal account. Now let us see the rules. Now what will be the rules? According to the personal account, the rules is debit all receiver. According to the personal account, the debit all receiver means what? X, he is a person. He is receiving something. He is receiving the amount. He is receiving the product. So any person or any bank, if they are receiving anything, then it will record in the debit side. Understood? Now come to the credit side. Credit or giver. If any person is giving something, any bank, any individual is giving something to the other parties or to the business, then he is the giver. If he is receiving, then it will record in the debit side. If he is giving something, then he will record in the credit side. So these are the three golden rules of your accounts. Remember, this is the fourth step. If you don't understand these golden rules, you will face a huge big problem. So these are the golden rules. It is very simple, very easy. In the real account, only the asset items will be recorded. And the golden rules is what? Debit what comes in, credit, credit what goes out. Okay? Now for the nominal account here, all the expenses, income, gain and losses will be recorded. Debit 
all expenses and losses, credit, all income and gain. Next comes the personal account. Personal account is what? Individual account. So what is the golden rule? Personal debit or receiver, credit or giver. Very simple. Alright. Now, now we have learned the uh, rules of debit and credit and we have learned the golden rules also. Now let us talk about the journal. Journal is the first step of our business. Whatever we will face the transaction, whatever the business will face the transaction, that's that transactions will be recorded in the journal. Before that, let me tell you, whenever we will do journal, think as a business point of view. Whatever transactions you will get, think according to the business point of view. Say suppose you are the business. Say suppose I am the business. So I will think according to according the business point of view. So it will be very easy to record the journals. Okay? So let us start the journal. So for starting the journal, for starting the journal, our first step is in accounts, whatever we record, whatever we record, we record in a proper format. Whatever we record, whatever transactions we record in the business, we record in a proper format. Another thing is, say, if we don't record the journal, the transactions, then the business will not able to calculate the profit in a year or they will not calculate the, or, uh, the uh, total part, whether it is a profit or it is a loss. So every day, So every day, whatever the transactions takes place in the journal, we will record serially. Alright? So first of all, let us know the format of journal. Okay? So the format is, it is very simple. This is, this is the date column, this is particulars, this is LF, this is amount, this is debit amount and this is amount, credit amount. Debit and credit will be in the extreme right, right hand side. The first amount column will be the debit amount, whatever that amount will be debited, those amount will record in the debit side. Whatever the amount will be credited, this amount will be recording, will be, will be recording the credit side. Okay. So this is the proper format of your journal. In the books of dot dot dot, whatever the name will be mentioned, that name will be recorded in here. In the books of X Limited, Y Limited, Z Enterprise. of dot 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 journal. So this is the big proper format of your journal. Now let us talk about the format. The first part is the extreme left hand side. It will be the column is debit column. Sorry, it is date column. Me, sorry, it is a date column. Date column means whatever the date in the transactions it will record. All the date will be record will record serially all the data will record serial all right next comes the particulars whatever the transactions takes place between the persons between the other parties or between the other companies those transactions we will record in the particulars column which whichever item is debited or which item is credited everything we will record in the particulars column. Next comes the LF column. LF means what? Ledger value. Means 
after journal the next step is ledger so we have to prepare one ledger column that is called ledger folio though this amount this column will be will remain empty but still we have to open this according to the format we have to open this column that is called ledger folio next come to amount column the first amount is debit amount whatever the debit amount will be recorded it will record in the first amount column and and the last one is credit column all right so let us check one transaction let us check one transaction transaction is say suppose simple transaction number 1 so this is the format of the journal let us let us see three transaction okay one is what started business with cash started business with cash rupees 50000 next is what purchase goods from cash purchase goods purchase goods for cash rupees 20000 third is what sales goods sales goods for cash rupees 10000 so these are the transactions one is started business with cash the first one started business with cash rupees 50000 all right so we need to pass the journal entry the transaction is what started business with cash in every transaction minimum there will be two account so you have to understand how many accounts are given in a transaction by reading the transaction so in this transaction started business with cash rupees 50000 you are the business you have started one one business with the cash rupees 50000 so in this particular transaction there are two account one is cash account another one is capital account capital is who capital is capital is what the person who invest the amount in the in a business that is called capital so one is what cash account another one is capital listen to it very carefully cash is what cash is cash will come under real account because it is an asset isn't it cash will come under real account and capital will come under personal account because the in the investment is made by an individual or by a group of an individual so one is cash account another one is capital account So according to the transaction, cash is coming in the business. Cash is a real account, and golden rule of real account is debit what comes in. So cash is coming in the business. So in that case, cash will be debited. If date is not given, then serial number in the transaction. So cash. So cash account debit. This is the process. Cash account cash debit to who is giving the amount? Capital. Capital is what? It is a personal account. So according to the personal rule, debit all receiver, credit all giver. Capital is giving the amount. So capital will be credit. So to capital account. Amount is how much? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand will be debited, as well as fifty thousand will be credited. See the lines, serial line. In debit, if debit item will be always at first. So cash account debit. To capital account, capital account is a credit because he is the giver. To capital account, that is fifty thousand. Cash is what? It is a real account. Very simple. Cash is what? It is a real account. because it is an asset cash is an example of asset so all assets are real account and golden rules of real account is what debit what comes in so cash is coming 
in the business think according to the business point of view so cash is coming in the business cash account debit who is giving the amount capital so to get the account 50000 all right so in this journal narration is must means summary this transaction is done for what purpose so if we if we do not write that the narration in future per, in future we will not able to understand so in third bracket you will write being always the narration starts with being small narrations you need to write the whole one being business started with cash business started with cash this is the end of your first journal business started with cash cash account debit is 50000 capital account debit is 50000 all right next come next to the next come to the second transaction purchase goods for cash is 20000 purchase is what expense you have purchased something that is your expense according to the business and you have purchased with what with cash so one is purchase account another one is cash account in a transaction minimum there will be two items two account one is cash account one is purchase account so purchase is what it's, it is a nominal account because it is an expense and according to the nominal account golden rules debit all expenses or losses whatever the expenses will take place in the business it will be debited so according to these transactions purchase account is debit so purchase account debit Purchase account debit. It is, why purchase account debit? Because it is the nominal account. It falls under nominal account. And golden rules of nominal account is debit all expenses, all losses, credit all incomes and gains. So it is our expense. It is the expense of the business. So therefore, purchase account debit. Two. From you, cash is going out from the business. Cash is going out. Cash will fall under real account. And golden rule of real account is credit what goes out. Credit what goes out. So, so cash will be credit. Cash account. How much? 20,000. 20,000 will be, will be debited. 20,000 will be credited. Narration will be being purchased goods for cash. means what it is the expense of the business and according to the nominal account all expense are debit so that is why purchase account is debit and from from the business cash is going out cash is the real account according to the real account credit what goes out so cash is going out from the business that is why it is credited to cash account all right amount will be the same 20,000 and 20,000 so come to the last transaction that is third number Sale goods for cash rupees 10,000. Remember, for doing this journal, consider yourself as a business. You are the business, now you have sold one items. You have sold some goods, so it is your income. If you sell anything, that means it is your income. So that means what? If you sell anything, cash is coming in the business. Okay. So sale goods for cash. One account is cash, another account is sale. So in a transaction, as I told you, at least there will be two account. One is cash account, one is sale account. Sale will come under nominal account. Cash will come under real account. Golden rule of real account is debit what comes in. Debit what comes in. So if you sell something, that means cash is coming in the business. Alright. Isn't it? So if cash is coming in the business, then it will be debited. So cash account debit. Sale is your income or gain, you can say. So, so, according to the nominal account, all gain and income is credited. So, sale will be credited to sale account. To sale account. How much? 10,000 in the debit color and 10,000 in the credit color. Narration kya hoga? Being goods sold for cash. Transaction.
positions of your journal. Okay. Now let us balance the amount. Always remember in journal. Always the debit amount and the credit amount will be equal. If the debit amount and the credit amount is is not equal, that means your transactions is not correct. That means your recording, whatever you have recorded in this journal, it is not correct. See here, debit column let us calculate fifty thousand plus twenty thousand, seventy thousand, seventy thousand plus ten thousand is eighty thousand. Is it the same amount will come in the credit also? Let us check. Fifty thousand plus twenty thousand is seventy thousand. Seventy thousand plus eighty thousand is ten thousand is eighty thousand. This is your channel. In where if always the debit side and the credit side will be equal. What I want to say is before doing the journal, first of all learn the golden rules of your of accounts. And also learn the rules of debit and credit. Once you memorize the golden rules, then you can do the journal very easily. Only you have to know the items which are assets, which are liabilities, which are your expenses and income. You will get in your books. Those who did not get books, you can buy. You can buy from our school library. The name of the book is APC Publisher by G K Goel, Shelly Goel, and Rajesh Goel. You can you can come to the school and you can buy from the school. So for today, let us stop here. In my next class, I will show you some some more journal entries. Till then, take care. Be safe.